Direct Surface is a head porting specific piece of software designed from the ground up to handle the entire process of digitizing, programming, and producing perfect ports and cylinder heads. This software is the same software that runs on an actual machine. You can see right here we have our standard jog type controls, hand wheel buttons, and zero buttons. We have separated the different parts of the programming process into separate categories. Our first tab up here at the top is in setup. Our second tab is the digitizing screen. This guides the programmer through digitizing data on user selectable planes. The third tab is the program tab. This combines the digitized data into one solid model. The third tab is the toolpath tab. This is where the programmer decides how to create toolpaths on the solid model that were created during the programming step. The auto cycle page is where everything comes together and actually operates the machine. If you come over here to the auto cycle controls, you can see we have everything set up very simple so the operator just has to push these simple, easy to use buttons. Over the details on how to digitize and program a port. The first step is to use the setup screen to set zeros and set up the head properly. We have some automated probing routines to help with that. We also have some buttons here to move the machine around to quick setup points to use indicators on. After the head is set up properly, the programmer would then create software planes through the port. These planes are defined by three points. Typically, one is created on each side of the port. This would be one plane, and this would be the second plane. Now the three points to define each of these planes were picked up using the probe on the machine. After we have these two planes picked up, we can come over here and say create intermediate planes. Then it'll ask us how many intermediate planes we want to create. Let's tell it we want 15 on this particular port. So now you can see the software has made a smooth transition from the starting plane to the ending plane and created 15 intermediate planes which will later be used to digitize data on. So after we have all those planes defined, we would then tell the machine to probe the planes. The machine would then drive the probe to intelligently collect data that exists on those predefined planes. This is an example of a typical exhaust port being probed on a P55. Every time you hear a beep, it's recording a new data point. So after we have all this data and we're happy with it, we can then come over to our programming page. This is where we actually create the solid model. Let's get rid of those squares so we don't have to view so much stuff on the screen at once. From here, we can click on the closed sections and hit Create Surface. We would then get a solid model on the screen. So the software has automatically taken each one of those sections and created a, a solid model, which is one entity that describes our entire port. So after our surface is created, the last stage is to create a toolpath. So for that, we come over here to the toolpath screen, right-click on our toolpath, right-click, say create toolpath. This inserts a new toolpath underneath the toolpath section of our tree view. We can double-click on this, and it brings up a little helper sheet here. We can then tell it where we want to create the toolpath from. Let's select from this plane to this plane. And tell it we want to do 25 revolutions in that. Then we'll hit OK. You can see our green line here represents our toolpath. Let's get rid of the solid so we can see our toolpath a little bit better. Let's also get rid of our closed sections. So that right there represents a toolpath from one side. Let's insert another toolpath. And for this one, we're going to tell it that we want to start on this side and go to this section. Let's make this one a little bit more. Let's make this one 80 passes. Okay. So after we have our toolpath selected, to run it is easy. All you do is come over to the auto cycle page, to the auto cycle controls, and push the port 1 button. 
and the machine would take off and actually run that port. Now this is not mas machine simulation, this would actually be moving the machine around in real time and showing you the graphics. Now let's just say, for instance, we want to go back and modify some of our data and then port that. Let's come over to our programming screen, turn on our closed sections, and double click on a middle section here. Okay, so you can see when I double clicked on that, it brought up that particular plane in the 2D XY view. Let's come over to the left side of that port and zoom in a little bit. And let's rotate our 3D graphics down a little bit so you can get a really good view of this. Now you can come over here and grab the data in 2D and watch our 3D change in real time. Okay, so now we've added a pretty big bump to our port here. You can see that section in 2D been dramatically changed and our 3D model has automatically been updated to show our change. Then we can come back over here to the auto cycle page and view our toolpath. You can see since all of our data is associated it automatically updated our toolpath to represent the changes that we made in our port. Then all I have to do is come over here and push the port 1 button and the machine starts running again just that fast and this would actually be cutting the port again with our modified changes here. You can come over to the setup screen and see all five axes moving in real time or you can come over here and watch the graphics go. So let's go ahead and stop that. Now let's just say, for instance, that we want to take the whole port and make the entire thing, call it a half an inch bigger. Half inch is an overkill, we would never actually do that, but I just want to show on the software how easy it is to make a change like that. Additional oversize amount, half inch. Now I've changed one program around, so now you can see our second program here is going to be a half an inch bigger. Let's make our top program an additional one inch bigger just so we can show that we can make that sort of a change. Okay, so now our top program is one inch bigger. Let's go ahead and run that and you'll see the tool automatically there we go After you follow the few simple steps described in this video, you'll be ready to port head from your P55. This is an example of a P55 porting a big block Chevy, taking out roughly 3 eighths of an inch of material on the roof of the port. 